Hey everyone, Nikki here again. Yes, two videos possibly in the same day, depends how YouTube loads. I thought I'd do an update on my room tour and yes, Lexi's helping me again. Obviously she's picked up something and she's eating it. Sorry for having the telly so loud. I had it on early on for her because there was some sounds going on. I didn't want her to hear outside. So here I am with an update of my video. I'm not doing it on a tripod so I would try not to be too shaky. Lexi get out please. Out. Out. Good girl. So this is my craft cupboard that my dad put some shelves in for me. I'm trying to get it all as just, just for craft but at the moment I haven't got I'm hoping to get a shed so I can put like the things on the top shelf which are my like smash books, art journals and stuff like that into the shed outside but I need to get a shed but I, before anybody says I will make sure everything is sealed properly so nothing gets damp uh, there is the box from my bead spinner I'm sorry I am a bit of a crafter that likes to do a mixture of crafts but my main crafts are paper craft and now crochet so I was just looking to see what Lexi was doing uh, the second shelf is birthday gifts cards for my own use and a couple of gift bags and they will probably always stay in here but I really want this more for wall items just a car empty cardboard box for sending out and I think that I hopefully sell on the next shelf down is in the white box is my needle felting sewing is in that bag like just sort of mending but not mending if I want to sew do a little flower and I think it's just got a mixture of threads in there and this box here is my needle felting mat and hold on I'm just going to move closer I'm trying to do everything slowly without making you sick sorry excuse the dust my tapestry bag and I think there's something else in there but I can't remember what now oh no just my tapestry bag so that's like my um so yeah needle felting tapestry I haven't done a tapestry for ages these two here are my wool I haven't got that much but I'm sure in time it will. Sorry, every time I'm turning, it's to keep an eye on Madam. So this one has odd balls of wool, but big enough that I could um, make quite a few brooches from, or small, I've just found a pattern for some mini Christmas stockings, so there'd be enough to do things like that in that one. This one has it's not brands of wool because I've only just started so I've got some of my grandma's old wool so it's got I'm trying to think enough wool to do a bigger project so it's like got three or four balls or one really big ball so that's my balls for bigger projects in that bag is some style craft yarn and that's probably what I'm going to keep um style craft in because I really like their wool I found it's really nice to work with in that bag down there so I'm going to have to bend a bit it's got my it will have it's got a few patterns and crochet books the um, this box here has odd balls of tapestry wool a little box I've made ready for Christmas uh, this box I mean this bag Sorry, let's move that out of the way. Oh, that's some odd balls of wool that I use for um, doll patterns, and that's probably in there as well. So I've got really small balls of wool. Sorry, I'm pointing and you're not even seeing. Small balls of wool that I was on about for, like, dolls' clothes as well. Let me just come back down again. Um, so, yeah, that had my, that's got odd balls of wool for tapestry. This is a bag I use when I go, like, to craft clubs. So sometimes I put... I might put wool in it. It's just for anything. I just want a small thing to take. Some boxes are finished, and this um, is just what I use for storage. Or sometimes I take, put stuff in it, and take. Down there is Christmas presents. So I don't want to show too much. I'm just going to cover you up. Down here, I got this container from 
hobby craft and I keep obviously rolls of paper I haven't found anywhere else for it to go so it just lives there and as I come round here I have I think I know you've seen these before but as I'm doing an update so I'll do it all up there lives my spelled binder and other makes of dies the case is from Hobbycraft magazine that I've got my crochet patterns in which I will put back in the cupboard um, so I'm going to have a look this is my everyday decoupage at the moment this has got stuff that I'm selling on my Facebook but mainly it's got um, Christmas decoupage in oh no that's my Christmas decoupage yeah so this oh no sorry that's got stuff that sorry that's stuff that I'm selling this is my Christmas one and then I'll probably change things around a bit this is all my stuff for altered art projects and here is my heat gun envelope templates embossing powders sorry that's my that's getting in the way and I'm too late oh that's the one I've just done uh, spare glues foam pads clever cat clever cat clever cut maxi and then here I won't go in every drawer is just like my scrap paper so I keep like scrap patterned Christmas Xmas card boy paper so that's all my scraps and then I'm trying to gonna, I'm gonna just cover you up while I move slowly uh, trash didn't sure you didn't see that loads of kitchen paper because I go through loads of that and then if I come over here this is my desk and I've changed things around a bit because when I first did it I had this container at the top there and a tin with all my bits in and it was just a pain to rummage so I thought I'll move that round and I've labelled everything I do like to try and label things so this little container came from work and I work in a charity shop so I've got my two most used ink pads which is the black and clear for embossing all my sanding bits odd bits and pieces like stamps and stuff I use um, that's just some um, stamps that I'm ra waiting to get some more ease mount. Scrap bits of paper. Oh, um, some, I'm trying to think. Sorry, I'm kneeling now. Um, inserts to go with a range of brought. Jewelry tools. Those two are empty. Those are the colouring sheets. Like when you buy stamps, I keep the sheets that come with them. So if I'm stuck for an idea of how to colour it scrap bits of white um, stamping card my spectrum yard pencils have only got two sets and I hope to get the rest my pro markers and I'm slowly using them up because I want to get the spectrum yard pens a little book I'm working on some other bits that need cutting out uh, pens bits and bobs more labels um, twine other ran little toppers for Christmas bling oh my embosser and then I'll just come over here to, uh, so th I get these plastic boxes from yeah Hobbycraft I don't know if they still do them but I hope so because I could do some more uh, my card Father's Day and Mother's Day Xmas decoupage that I've completed every day decoupage I've completed thickers sorry Lexi's just barking because she can hear something Valentine's and Easter stuff I don't really do much I might not do that anymore so can use that fold for something else more card toppers this one is all sorry the lights I'm trying to block the sun out or block the shade out flower decoupage this are my small embossing folders. This one has animal decoupage in. Lexi, quiet! Um, random sort of things, so it's like tea cakes and random sort of toppers. Male toppers in there. Down here is my card candy and some hat pins. Project Life Kit, and that's the blush one. In there I keep the sleeves for Project Life stuff I must get a folder because I haven't got my folder for 2015 embossing folders 
random bits that I use from my Autodart and stuff. And then if I just open this up. Here, I'm not going to get everything out because it's a pain trying to do with one hand. This is all my jewellery making stuff. Down the bottom is Christmas toppers. Yeah, so anything Christmassy is down there. Let me just cover you while I come up. And then here is the top. Sorry, this is, I'm just going to cover you and close the curtains for a second and just see if I can get some better light. Right, hopefully that's better. So this is the top of my sideboard, I suppose you call it. So if I come over here, like I said, I'm trying to do everything slowly. Box that I keep round um, Christmas embellishments. Okay, that looks a bit odd, but that's actually got blending solution on the sponge, so I keep it in there, even though I did manage to spill it on myself. In the top bit of this, it has H2O paints. I've only got a few. Like I said, I like many different crafts, so I'll get a small bit of that and see if I like it or not. So I think when those paints have gone, I won't get any more. And here is my hot glue gun, my dabbers, and the little sponges. Washi tape, pricking tools. I don't do much paper pricking, but I just don't want to get rid of things. One day I might think, oh, I might do that. Uh, Christmas ribbon and washi. And here will be extra bling and like the dust buster. My smashbook diary baby wipes obviously and here is loads of bits for my smash book and sometimes cards this glass jar came not jar that dish I'm not sure what you call it because it's like on a high thing um, from a charity shop and it's got loads of lace in which was my grandma so every time I use it I think of her here I've done a video on this as a step by step it's got my larger embossing folders in here are all my stamps and I'm try was trying it's gone a bit out of the window to have like just that thing so like the Angelica and Friends but it's got a bit mixed apart from that one which was all Xmas Bee Bunny but that's why I label them so that's my stamp and all that storage was from Crafter's Companion. This is where I just keep my cello bags, tags I've completed. As you can tell, I need to bag them up and put my labels on. Then I'll come down here slowly. And here is, well, it's a bit empty because I've been decluttering. So these are some tins that I will either revamp or keep for my own storage. Down here, I keep some cello bags cello bags for when I make gift tags at Christmas this has my message stamps in just so my jar for think of it, for oh yeah water and stuff I'm just going to close that up because knowing my luck I will whack myself on it and here is my scrapbook so I keep my fave cards um, sprays oh that's where the charger was sorry me acting all surprised there but I was actually looking for my charger for my lightweight hoover and I just found it in there so wee um and here is my stamps embossing mat for my ebosser and here is a mixture of loose stamps Tim Holtz Le Blanche I think you say it this one has all my stamping up ones so that's all those you back again Lexi and here You've been running around like a loony, haven't you? Lexi out. Good girl. So in here is ribbon, flowers at the back. That I keep my glitter glues in. Some Dovecraft um, chalks. This little tin I actually made when I went to a Stampin' Up! workshop. And I just keep really, really tiny balls of wool in there that I use for all my craft projects that is all my buttons as you can tell I love buttons in there is my card blanks and some more cello bags sorry I'm just gonna come back up and try not to make you too sick and finally on the top here is wild orchid 
flowers, my ribbon, so I'll just come around here, Christmas punches, stamping up punches, and then more wild orchid craft items. So I will just come round slowly. So that is my craft room. I'm not very good on what size it should be, so thank you very much for watching.